Hey guys, so today I'm just going to be showing you my um, wallet everyday carry. Um, my thought process going into this was I didn't want anything that was going to be bigger than my current wallet already was. My, my last wallet took up so much space in my pocket, and this takes up about the same amount of space. Um, and I mean, it sits in there comfortably, and I've just been, like I said, loving it. So um, yeah, starting from the outside. Um, so initially, I was uh, wanting to add a um, self-defense element um, somewhere in this carry. Um, initially, I thought like a knife might be good, or one of those strike pens or something. But after thinking about it for a while, I kind of came to realize that a flashlight is just going to be the best. I mean, it's super duper bright. Um, if I'm shining this in your eyes, I'm seeing you really well and you're not seeing me at all. It's also got this uh, tactical little um, paddle on the back where if you press it enters strobe mode right away. Um, super disorienting for anybody caught on the uh, other end of that. Um, in fact, there's even been cases where a, a powerful strobe like that can make people vomit and get super disoriented. Um, but yeah, this thing has just been awesome. It's the smallest flashlight I could find that had a good tactical paddle on the back um, for strobe. And um, yeah, it's small enough that it fits in there nice. It's big enough that I could bash somebody's skull in with it. <laughs> It's just uh, a really nice size. So um, yeah, uh, moving on, um, we have a space pen. I'm sure you guys have seen this a million and one times, so no need to go over it again, but writes really well, tiny. Um, yeah, I just, I, I love this thing. Um, it's awesome. But yeah, moving on. Uh, I guess we go to the inside now, or I, actually first before I do that, um, this wallet was made by Galen Leather Company um, off of Etsy. Um, they're based in Turkey. Really great customer service. Um, I recommend that you check them out. So yeah, um, we uh, unzip this. And we are greeted with wallet things. We've got cards. We've got money down there. But... Um, Tucked back in here is a little bit more interesting. We've got band-aids, you know, just in case anything were to happen. Um, I found myself quite frequently wishing that I had a band-aid on me and not. So, um, band-aid, you know, good for little boo-boos. Alrighty, moving on. Really far back in here, tucked away, is... A universal key, <laughs> a set of lock picks, and a uh, tension wrench. Um, I've been practicing with lock picks for a while now. They're a lot easier than uh, I thought they would be initially, but I've been having a ton of fun messing around with these things. And uh, yeah, ni really nice little compact set held together there by a hair tie in case I ever need it. So yeah, super useful to have. Uh, moving on. Underneath this little flap here is uh, the meat of the everyday carry, I suppose. We've got the Leatherman Crunch. Now, this thing is actually a set of uh, locking pliers, or vice grips, if you would like to call them that. Um, and yeah, I just, I'm a maintenance guy. People are always asking me, you know, hey, can you fix, you know, my dishwasher or, you know, my sink is doing something weird or whatever. It's really nice to have something with the capability of a locking pliers set as opposed to like a needle nose, you know, where you can't really tighten things down that well with a needle nose. With this, I mean, it locks on and you're good to go. Um, also down here, if you have the patience for it, there is a quarter inch um, bit driver hidden in there that's also magnetic, um, but I'll get more into that in a second. Um, one of the things I was not super happy about with this knife is the fact that the blade is fully serrated. Now. Um, at first, I was, you know, kind of bummed out. I, I, 
initially wished that it was a straight blade, but after using this for a while, I mean, the utility that you get from serrated, there's just, there's no competition. I mean, I've been using this to cut rope, to cut cloth. Um, just today, um, a bunch of trash bags had gotten caught up in the wind and gotten stuck on a tree and then wrapped around the tree, creating the world's ugliest garland and uh, got up there on a ladder with this thing and just shoo, 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 cut right through it. And uh, I really don't know if a um, straight blade would have been um, as good in a situation like that. So yeah, for utility, I mean, this, this multi-tool is just the perfect one for me. I love everything on it. Um, I love the blade, love everything. No complaints as far as the Leatherman Crunch goes. Uh, moving on, um, we've got some uh, additions to the Crunch. Um, <laughs> we've got this uh, quarter inch um, um, bit extender that I can put onto the end of that if I need to. And I've also got a set of uh, bits in here just in case you know I run into whatever I run into and need to fix. Um, but yeah, just, uh, just a couple different options in there. Um, wide variety. Um, and last but certainly not least is a lighter. Um, I don't smoke cigarettes, but a uh, lighter is always good to have um, in case of emergency. So yeah, um, just thought I would share with you guys my little uh, setup. It's been making me feel like a modern day MacGyver. So um, yeah, I figured uh, if I love it this much, maybe uh, somebody else might uh, might find some uh, enjoyment in it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.